Hello everyone and welcome to my Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker final trailer breakdown. Let's not waste any time and get into looking at the awesome details in this awesome trailer. The trailer begins with Rey training on a forest planet using the training remotes that we've seen Jedi use before and seen Luke use before in Star Wars A New Hope. Pretty simple stuff with her jumping over a ravine and it transitioning over to her climbing into what I safely assume is the ruins of the Death Star 2. Just backtracking slightly she seems to have a dagger or a sword or some type in her hand just before she jumps over the ravine and this could be the rumored sith dagger that she is trying to get throughout the film next we have a scene of the resistance which has grown since we last saw the handful that was left at the end of the last jedi no doubtedly a byproduct of the current running comic star wars allegiance which sees them regain more followers poe seems to be giving a speech and they are standing under what is a cr90 corvette which for people out there who don't know is one of the first ships or is the first ship we actually see in star wars a new hope it's quite possible that this is actually the tantai 4 the ship we actually saw in A New Hope and at the end of Rogue One, Princess Leia's old ship and it's been decommissioned or taken back from the Empire or something after the events of Episode 4 and just left in this base. It's most likely that heroes find it in an old rebel or republic base on the jungle planet. Next we see Rose along with Dominic Monaghan's character and Billy Lord's character Connex along with a bunch of strange horse alien creatures. They also appear to be standing on the hull of a ship or a star destroyer which is interesting and makes me wonder if this means the resistance either have their own star destroyer or they are infiltrating one to take it over or rescue someone here is another shot of the corvette this time taking off from the jungle planet and again the markings look strangely similar to that of the tantai 4 Frey stands in the wreckage of the death star 2 waiting for kylo ren to finish his pretty badass wrestling entrance it's a pretty cool shot to have him coming out of a wave and i'm very intrigued to see how this fight ends. Next we see one of my favourite shots in the trailer, a look at a strange iceberg-like planetoid which I assume is the world of Kijimi, where Poe's contact Zori Bliss is from. Kijimi is apparently a seedy underworld Nar Shadda type of world where our heroes need to go to find someone who can unlock or hack something in C-3PO's memories. Next we get a really cool look at Emperor Palpatine's new throne. It's really cool since it's actually based on the original artwork of Ralph Macquarie who did this as a preliminary sketch of the throne room in Return of the Jedi during its pre-production in 1981. Next we got an Imperial Star Destroyer rising out of ice or rock and this is definitely part of that huge fleet we saw at the end of the D23 trailer and probably part of Palpatine's secret fleet that he's hidden away somewhere. Next is a really cool shot of the Millennium Falcon with an army of resistance ships made up of Mon Calamari cruisers, hammerhead cruisers, medical frigates and the one thing that has me really interested in this is the Ghost. Hera Syndulla and Kanan Jarrus' ship from Star Wars Rebels, which is just off to the right of the Falcon. Next we get a shot of a boat-like vehicle bouncing across the waves towards the Death Star 2 wreckage. Rey's aboard the ship and she seems to be the only one. It's interesting since we don't actually know whether this planet is Endor or whether it is some new planet. Next we get a look at new character Babu Frink, who is a droid repairman, a hacker of sorts, who Zori knows and who is meant to be accessing something in 3PO's memories or allowing him to access something that helps the heroes get something they need. Since the heroes all have coats on here and Zori Bliss is there, I'm just going to assume that this is the ice world of Kijimi. What's cool about the shot of 3PO here is in the background you can actually see a B1 battle droid from the Clone Wars, which is interesting since these movies have kind of gone out of their way to not reference the prequel trilogy, so it's pretty interesting we're getting references now. Next we have Poe, Chewie and Finn fighting across a Star Destroyer, killing Stormtroopers and then Finn, a new character named Jaina and others are riding alien horses across the hull of a Star Destroyer. Following on from that was a very surprising shot of Rey and Kylo Ren confronting each other in the throne room of the Death Star 2. This surprised me uh, just because they show something like this in the trailer but also considering that this is still kind of intact that people can actually walk into it considering the whole Death Star blew up. 
Next, we got a shot of Zori Bliss's Y Wing attacking the Super Laser Cannon on one of those Sith Star Destroyers. So, I'm guessing they're trying to destroy them before they blow up the Rebel fleet or something. Another really interesting shot here we have both Rey and Kylo Ren working together to destroy the pedestal Darth Vader's helmet was on. It's in a big white room, so I'm not really sure where this is, but it's interesting to note that Rey in this scene is, while well, holding her lightsaber in one hand, in the other is holding a dagger, which as per rumours I've heard, is actually a Sith dagger, which is kind of like a MacGuffin part of the movie. As the trailer winds down, we get a cool shot of the Sith fleet with X-Wings and TIE Fighters and B-Wings all swarming around. And then we get my absolute favourite shot of the trailer, which is Rey facing the resurrected Emperor Palpatine, who appears to be in some type of chair or medical device that makes him look like he towers over Rey, which is really cool and menacing. Lastly, we get a really nice close-up of Rey as Luke and Leia say the force will always be with her. So that's the final trailer. I thought it was a really fantastic trailer. It didn't give too much away. It had an incredible score to it, incredible sound and everything to it. One thing I'm really surprised, however, was we didn't get a full shot of Emperor Palpatine. I was sure they were going to do that maybe as like a stinger at the end of this trailer. Same with the party celebration on the desert we saw in the last trailer. I thought we were going to get a little bit more of that, but of course they're obviously saving all of this stuff for the movie. But it was still a damn good trailer and has me even more excited for December 18. Thank you for watching.